Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage fleet in Odo 70. So, what is fleet? Fleet is basically a group of vehicles which has a unified control. And basically, using fleet, you can just manage and create profile for your vehicles by knowing the information such as assigning the uh, vehicle driver, getting the license, uh, plate number, odometer reading and the model of your vehicle. And you can also make use of fleet for various purposes such as delivery of the products or it can be transportation uh, of the employees or you can also use fleet for many other services. And basically the business like the car rentals or the taxis or transportation uh, purposes uses fleet. So let's see how can we make use of fleet in Odo 17 by the business. Let's see how can we manage the fleet in Odo 17. For that, you can just dive into the fleet module where you can see the vehicles created over here with different stages, such as new request to order, ordered, and this shows also other stages. Now, from here, we can create new stages or um, we can also create the new stages from the configuration menu. So as you just get into the uh, fleet interface, you would be able to find that this page is currently in its campaign view. Now we can just move the view into list or we can just change it into pivot view or to an activity view. Now uh, let's see how we are just going to manage with the fleet in a business. So under the configuration, you can see the settings and here you can see different things such as uh, the end date contract like we can just set and allow days before the end of the contract and we can also create a new vehicle request like an employee cannot request a new car if there are more than thousand existing cars available so we can just uh, set all the details over here so if you are altering um, the data is already provided here then you can change this um, I mean save the changes in the settings now, let's move on to the configuration menu and let's create a new manufacturer. So, manufacturers are the producers of the vehicle. So, here you can find number of uh, manufacturers and all these manufacturers um, are in its Kanban view and you can also just get the list view of these manufacturer. Now, let's move on to the default view and let's create a new manufacturer. Here, I'm going to create a new manufacturer that is Tata is the manufacturer. So here we can also provide the logo of Tata. So you can just search and give the logo of Tata. So I'm going to just upload that and let's save this. So once you have set the manufacturer, you would be able to find the uh, manufacturer that we have just created. So here let's drag down and you would be able to find that there are no models over here. So if there are any models, you can find the models over here and if you want to just create a new one, you can also create that. Now let's move on to the models and let's create a new model for the data. So when you just click on here, you would be able to give the model name. So here we are just going to uh, give the model name as Harrier and I'm going to set uh, the, yeah, Harrier. Then we can just set the name of the manufacturer that is Tata. And you can see as you just add the manufacturer, the logo will be automatically added over here. Now you can see uh, the vehicle type and all. So um, the vehicle is a car and you can also add a category. So let's save this first and let's see how can we create a category. So under the categories, you would be able to find different categories of the car that can be brake. SUV, sports car, combat. But our vehicle is simply a car. So we need to just create a new category. So let me create a new category which is car. And here you can just provide that and let, later on you can just save that. So once you have done that, you can just move on to the categories and just create that. Here you can also create different types such as uh, uh, the contract services or rent and land all. So let me create a new uh, yeah, one that is uh, rental. So here you can just provide it as rental and that is uh, that comes under the service and let's save this. And later on, let's um, move on to the, yeah, 
uh, tags and let's create the tags over here. Junior, senior, employee car, purchased. So this is actually used for rental purposes. So you can just create it as a rental and let's save uh, the changes that we have just made. And later on, you can also set the activity type. So here you can see number of activity types. So why I'm presetting all this is because we can just use this in the models or the activities whenever we require if we preset all the details that we want. So we need to schedule a meeting. So let me uh, give the details like schedule a meeting. And here you can choose the actions that you want. So there are a number of actions like upload documents, phone calls, meeting, um, request signature, reminder, tax report, grant approval and all. So we can just have a call and you can also set default users. So the person who gonna call the users will be machine admin and here we can also choose a model like vehicle contract, vehicles or there are um, number of things. So you can just choose that and here you can also just give the default summary which is a discuss proposal. So here you can just set that which is a discuss proposal and if you want to just set the icon you can set that and decoration type is an alert and let's um, go over with the offer. Okay all set and um, yeah here we are just going to do an activity like suggest next activity so we can also suggest next activity that will be meeting and we can set the uh, meeting uh, I mean email templates and all so um, yeah let me create a vehicle as the uh, email template so let's click and edit that and here we can just uh, provide the subject and all um, welcome to the fleet and here we can just provide the content. Click like, hey, you have amazing offers on your fleet. So let's give all the details and here we can just configure the mail and all. Later on under the settings, you can just provide the language, outgoing mail server. So let me set the outgoing mail server and you can just give a template description and all. So, hey, dude, see your fleet. And later on, if you want to just set a dynamic report and all, you can set that for the time being. We don't want that. So let me save the details under the, yeah, uh, email template and let's save that. So we can also schedule days after the activity deadline. So that will be zero after the previous activity deadline or after completion date. So let's go with the after completion date and let's save this. So well, we have set everything now, let's move on to the models and let's complete the other details in the model. So we were handling with the Tata manufacturer with the model Harrier and under the category, you can choose the category. So it's just a car and we are gonna use the category as car and there's um, vehicle has got just five seats and it has got four um, doors and it is uh, black in color. So you can just set the color over here and it's new model with a model of 2024. And if it has tra trailer hitch, you can just enable that. So trailer hitch is nothing but that is just a hook to connect with another um, vehicle. And you can also request uh, like the salary like can be requested on contract also. Now you can also set the catalog value that is the price in the catalog. So let's set it as 7 lakh. Well set and if it has any CO2 fee you can set that and the depreciation cost uh, per month will be just 1000. And later on you can also set the engine type. So we know there are different types of fuel types like it can be electrical, LPG, manual, automatic. Likewise, there are different fuel types. So it can be hydrogen um, and many more like gas line, full hybrid and all. So you can just set that. So this is just um, 
full hybrid and we can say that so it has got a CO2 emission of 205 and if it has a CO2 standard you can say that and we know there are two uh, transmissions like it can be fully automatic or manual so our vehicle is ma I mean automatic so you can say that and you can also set the horsepower which is 120 and I mean power as well as the horsepower so let me set the horsepower and all and we can also set the horsepower taxation and well uh, let's set the things and save the details so we have set everything over here now let's see um, how can we just create the status of the vehicle so here you would be able to find all the stages or everything so uh, we also just need to create a dumb staged or scrapped vehicle so let's set it as scrapped so once we have just created a um, new um, status you would be able to find the status over here so let's move on to the fleet and here you would be find i mean able to find the newly created stage and you can also just drag and drop um wherever you just want now here you can see that we have to set everything and yeah all set and you would be able to find there are four vehicles which are registered and you can also find the town created vehicles so let's see how can we just create a new vehicle so let's uh, create a new request uh, so as you just uh, click on new here you would be able to find all the details so let me choose the vehicles which is Harrier and uh, Tata Harrier as you just give the model all other details will be automatically configured over here such as the contract uh, catalog value everything now here you can just provide the plate number so it it is just KL 10 20 um, 20 and here you can also choose tags uh, so it's a rental car and we can also assign the drivers like let the um, current driver be Abigail Peterson so if we want to change the driver in the future we can also set a future driver so we can just change the driver whenever we require so if we um, plan to change the car we can just enable the field and the assignment date of the creation of this vehicle is just 1st March of 2024 and here you can just uh, see the order date uh, of the vehicle is on 28th uh, February and the registration date everything and the rental will be cancelling on 31st March and here we can also provide the charges number so it's uh yeah well set we have said that and we can also set the last uh automated reading and here we can also set the fleet manager that is Michelle admin and we can also provide the location of the vehicles for the time being and afterwards we can see the tax info such as the horsepower contract and all and we can also set a disallowed expense rate so if we want to just set that we can set so let's set the start date and let's set uh, the percentage of uh, the disallowed expense rate over here and here you can see that as we just set the model all other details uh, within the model will be automatically configured here and under the notes um here just give a message like have a drive like have a drive well said and let's save this so under this you would be able to find uh, the employees the driver history and also if you need to apply the new driver that is Bates events as a new driver you can just click on apply new driver and you can see that the previous driver has just changed into the new driver and under the driver history you would be able to find the previous driver as well as the current driver over there and if it has got any contracts you can just give the contracts over here so if we want to just create a new contract for this vehicle we can just uh, provide that so let's uh, create a reference like that uh, uh, reference over here like uh, you can just manually create or yeah that's it and uh, this is just for leasing purpose and um, the vendor is Michelle so you can just search for Michelle and the included services can be um, I mean set over here that is the AC compressor replacement and 
you can see uh, all other details will be set there and the activation cost for this um, contract is just 5000 and the recurring cost will be 3000 and you can set the date over here so let's set the date and we can also set the terms and conditions of uh, this so once the contract starts um, that uh, will be in progress state and you can see currently this is in progress and if we are just closing this um, that will be moved to the close date and this contract can also expire once the fleet uh, rental period is over now let's move on and you would be able to find the services and under the services we can just create a new service and here you can see repair and maintenance so uh, here we need to just uh, repair AC uh, and we need to maintain that so we can just provide it as AC repair and maintenance later on you can just provide the vendor uh, let it be Azure interior and here you can also set the last odometer reading value so let me save this and let's save this so here you can see uh, if you want to just give the service details or any notes regarding the service you can just provide it over here now let's move on and uh, under more you would be able to find there are two odometer readings and that is shown over here and if you want to just add any documents regarding this you can just add that so uh, so if you want to just add um, a file you can just upload uh, the file or anything so i just need to get uh, the tata harrier um, logo as well as the image of the vehicle so it's harrier and you can just provide the images so we have just uploaded everything well set so that comes under the fleet and uh, you would be able to find that this vehicle has got two documents over here now uh, under the fleet we can see different things such as the contracts services and autometer so as you just move on to the um, contract here you would be able to find the newly created uh, yeah contract and if you are just closing this you can see that that has just moved to the closed uh, state and um, you will not be um, able to see longer in in progress of the contract now under the services also you can just view the services and here you can see we have just created a new service so once the uh, service is in in its running state you can just move on to the running and you can just also set it as 10 once it has 10 the services now let's move on to the fleet and here you can see every details um, over here so if you want to set the activities and all we can set that and we need to just schedule an activity that is uh, um schedule a meeting so you can set that later on you can just open the calendar and you can set the date so it's very easy to set everything and you can see the created activity is now set over there now let's back to the vehicles that we were dealing with now we need to just uh move to the order so now currently we have just ordered the fleet and once it's ordered um that will be moved to the ordered state and once it it's uh registered that will be moving to the registered state and you would be able to find that and once it is downgraded that will be set to the downgraded state so it's very easy to manage the fleet in your uh, business so we know fleet is basically used for the transportation of goods or for the transportation of the employees or it can be used in logistics or anything so I hope uh, this is, uh, I mean, I hope this video clarifies how to use Fleet in Odo 17. So Fleet module basically helps you to just manage the vehicle fleet by reducing the cost as well as optimizing the resources. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage Odo 17 fleet. And if you require Odo tutorials or Odo customization, feel free to contact Cyprosus. So that's all. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.